This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public. Well, that prairie wind keeps a blowing, seems to be calling my name. Give me a big, fresh gulp of that Dakota air. Dakota Air. I'm Merrill Pepcorn, producer and host of Dakota Air, the radio show, a live, old-fashioned style radio variety show with music and comedy and skits and guest stars and local entertainment featuring local history and culture. And we travel all across North Dakota and some neighboring states as well performing it in front of a live studio audience, recording it, and then playing it back over the radio for thousands of more people to enjoy. There are a lot of people involved in Dakota Air, the radio show, including the greatest band in the world, the Radio Stars Band, featuring fabulous fiddler Loy Larson. Not only do the Radio Stars perform their own original music and other tunes for every show, but they also have to work pretty hard to work with our guest stars, many of whom use the radio stars for their backup band for these live shows. So they're the hardest working band in show business.
my name is Christy Larray Goldaddy, and I've been known as North Dakota's Yodeling Cowgirl. I'm currently 18 years old, and I just graduated high school at Strasburg, North Dakota. I've been raised on a dairy and grain farm, and I absolutely love it out in the farm. And that's where I actually did a lot of my practicing when I first learned how to start yodeling and singing. The way I got started yodeling was my family took a trip to the Medora musical and there for the first time I heard a yodeler and I was just so excited that all the way home I was trying to learn how to yodel because it was the first time I'd ever heard it and I was probably seven or eight years old at that time. I just was self-taught to learn how to sing and yodel and write songs and I just kind of put it together myself. I wrote my first song when I was only 13 or 14 years old. Um, I'd been listening to a lot of Patsy Cline songs during that time and I was really introduced to that artist and I was really excited about her and her music and everything that she went through and accomplished in her life. I've been performing up and down the Midwest, um, doing fairs and centennials and other small family events, just anything from the Minot Norse Huss Fest to something really small like a family get together. Merrill had actually asked me to come and sing with the Dakota Radio Stars on their show for Dakota Air and Wishick for the first time. Um, I guess they like to get a lot of guests in and since I was from that area they invited me to do a show with them. It was just really excited to meet the whole group. They were just a great um, bunch of people to play with and so friendly and down to earth. That's just one thing I love about the North Dakota people in general. We all seem to really um, get along and watch out for each other. <laughs> We'll get back to this edition of Dakota Air, the radio show, in one minute. But first, an exciting announcement for all businessmen and women in our radio listening audience. That's right. We know how much folks enjoy seeing the magnificent North American bison when they take their vacation out here in the beautiful Medora country in the Badlands area of North Dakota. Each year, hundreds of thousands of people take millions of pictures of these great American giants true icons of the American West, and they share those photographs with dozens, sometimes hundreds, of their friends. And now, through special arrangement with local bison rancher and entrepreneur Dusty Plains, president of Bison Outdoor Advertising, those very bison can help build your business. For this limited time offer, you have a unique opportunity to have one of these giants of the prairie serve as a walking billboard. You heard me correctly. Dusty himself will paint your message in big white letters on the side of a few of his live bison that wander through the region. Imagine that. Oh, honey, stop the car and look at that. What does that bison have printed on his side? It says, don't be buffaloed by high prices. Get filled up at Don's Discount Gas. Oh, honey, come on. Let's drive over to Don's as soon as we leave the park. Wait. First, I have to get a picture of this. Then I'm going to show it to everybody we know. <laughs> wow. Talk about creative advertising. Visit Bison Outdoor Advertising today and find out how Dusty Plains and his herd of walking billboards can help your business reach your customers. The Bison Way. Thank you. Only non-lead paint is used on the bison. No bison were harmed in the making of this commercial. Offer good only during the summer tourist season. <laughs> Ready, boys? One, two, three, four! It's a beautiful morning at the break of day. You'll hear a big bearded cowboy at the truck wagon say, Gather them, boys, the coffee's hot on the fire. There's a old man, Brandon, and we're heating the iron. I want to smell that scorched hair and burn and hide. The horses are green now, they're ready to ride. Roll up 
your bed rolls and jump in your boots. Daylight is a waste and boys, it's out of the chutes. Yes, it's a beautiful morning and you've had a good rest. You ropers get ready to be at your best. Saddle and ponies and tighten the cinch. Well, you pull on your gloves and take your hat off the fence. We'll get the cattle to market and after they're sold, you can all let your hair down, get lazy or bold. Ride into town and find a lady or two to take you by the arm and shake the dust off your boots. Come on and ride, cowboy, ride. Roll up your riettas and pull your sombreros down tight. We're gonna ride, ride, ride where the trail will wind. You better drive, drive, drive for we we'll leave you behind. Come on and ride, ride, cowboy ride. Come on and ride, cowboy, ride. Roll up your riettas and pull your sombrero down tight. We're gonna ride, ride, ride where the trail will wind. You better drive, 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 or we'll leave you behind. Come on and ride. As I lay back in the saddle, I'm a daydream away From a new pair of boots, maybe a bath in a shade High-stepping ladies and garters and pearls There ain't a lot to compare between cattle and girls The daydream's over, now I'm back on a drive We got a job to bring them all in alive From old Mexico, we drove up 400 miles And I'd get 15 head to see just one senorita smile well, now Abilene, Texas is just round the bend. Somebody ride on ahead, tell them we're coming on in. Trains at the railhead are waiting on us, and there's beer at the cafe to wash down the dust. It's been a whole lot of work, now we're ready to play. We've been driving them cattle now for 42 days. I wonder, boys, if the sheriff will frown. And we drop 1,500 head of cattle right through his town. Come on and ride, cowboy, ride. Roll up your riettas and pull your sombreros down tight. We're going to ride, ride, ride where the trail will wind. You better drive, drive, drive or we'll leave you behind. Come on and ride, ride. Well, in the history of the Red River Valley, we came up to 1858. And while the fur trade was still going well, the business interests in Minneapolis, St. Paul said, we want to put river boats on the Red River. And so they decided that they would pay $1,000 to any man who could build a river boat and put it onto the Red River of the North. Well, they knew that eventually that river boat and the trade that the river boats would uh, foster would replace the Red River ox carts, which took sometimes six weeks to get between Fort Gary, now Winnipeg, and St. Paul. And so a businessman and a riverboat captain named Anson Northup took them up 
on their challenge. He said, yes, I will build a riverboat. He bought an old riverboat called the North Star, just outside of Minneapolis. He tore it apart, loaded it on wagons, and brought it up into the Red River Valley. And so, now, for the first time ever, river boats were going to replace the Red River ox carts. Well, Anson Northup put together his river boat. He rechristened it, named it right after himself, called it the Anson Northup. And in that year, 1859 then, right there on the Red River, the Anson Northup became the first river boat on the Red River. And this would help create trade that would soon help out the city of Moorhead and Fargo. And people from all over the region would see that we were a, a neighborhood now of great progress because they could look over the trees and there on the river passage they could see the Anson Northup going up and down the river. The Anson Northup would be one of many river boats that would come into this region and soon Fargo and Moorhead, specifically Moorhead, thrived as a riverboat building center. I'm Steve Stark. I'm the uh, chief writer and uh, I guess historian <laughs> and artist for Dakota Air, the radio show. And I write the comedy sketches and I write novelty songs and I perform with the Dakota Airheads and I write uh, and, and uh, perform and, and draw little pieces I call illustrated history where I tell history stories and draw them out at the, at the same time. Been doing this for a number of years when all over the, 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 the state and the, in the region and, and even the country at times and, and so it's a lot of fun. We try to bring in a little bit of history specifically of the region that we're playing that particular week and so I'll bring a, a story or two about the history and maybe some things that people even in the, in the area don't know. I always love to get that moment where I get the intake of breath, I call it the <gasps> moment because I'll tell them a little story about how something got a name, something that we, we call uh, by its name every day but don't know the historical uh, placement of that name or the origins and I get a little, <gasps> and I just love those moments, not only with, with old folks but with, uh, with kids as well. And every place has its history and every place is, history is important and we're all proud of history. And the amazing thing about history is it says, come on in, you know, you are here now and so history welcomes you. This is now part of your history, no matter where you're from. Because after all, every single person who came to North Dakota came from somewhere else. And so this is just a grand tradition of having people come in. We are so happy to be here and we're so happy to be celebrating all things North Dakota and breathing this uh, great Dakota air. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, another Dakota Air public service announcement. Hello, and welcome to Medora and the great North Dakota Badlands. We folks who call this beautiful place our home are thrilled that so many people from around the nation and the world visit us each and every year. Everyone who visits us can immediately appreciate the natural beauty that surrounds us. The azure blue of the western skies, the glistening Little Missouri River that gently cascades over the rocks through the lowlands, and more, the intriguing American wildlife. That's right. We love our home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, and we want you to love it too and speak of it often and highly to your family and friends. Why, just look at these skies. <laughs> they haven't been cloudy all day. That's why the BCADW exists, the Badlands Committee Against Discouraging Words. You'll see our signs posted throughout campsites, restaurants, and motels to ask you, Please keep any discouraging words mm -hmm. to yourself. Talk about the fun, the history, the good things instead, because after all, this is our home where the buffalo roam, 
and the deer and the antelope play, and seldom is heard a discouraging word. And, well, partner, we want to keep it that way. Hmm, Steve, you ought to write a song. Hey, I might do just that. Well, this message is brought to you by the BCADW. The Badlands Committee Against Discouraging Words. By the way, can we say the word bad? My name's Kate Henney. I'm co-producer of Dakota Air the Radio Show. My favorite part about Dakota Air the Radio Show is discovering and showcasing talent that we have throughout this state. Uh, I'm especially excited when young people come forward and are on the show. Uh, we've got a lot to be proud of in the talent we have across the state. And it, it uh, again, it helps Dakotans you know, be proud of who we are and where we're from and what we have to offer. As the sun begins to rise over blue Dakota skies and the breeze begins to sigh through the valley below. From these hills I look around, I know I'm not alone. She calls me my wild prairie. Out here the sagebrush fills the air With the coyotes wailing prayer Hear the meadowlark calls Down the warm dusty draws There is no place I'll ever find Will ever change my mind She calls me my wife Spaces with quiet heart places, God shining His graces on me and on you. There is no place I'll ever find will ever change my mind. She calls me my wild prairie. Set my heart free, Lord. So give me a big, fresh gulp of that, <sighs> ah, Dakota air. And when you see we're coming to a town near you, 
Come on out and see us. You'll enjoy it. Well, that prairie wind that keeps a blowing seems to be calling my name. Give me a big, fresh gulp of that Dakota air. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public.